Trying to manage a business is hard. There are millions of different tools out there and none of them actually talk to each other. And if you try to use them all together, it requires a very complex system of spreadsheets, emails, and phone calls. And in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the All Better app. It's a beautiful, easy to use, and it's just what your business need. First things first, when you sign up to the All Better Field app, you're going to get prompt to enter your business information. And that's straight, simple, forward. It requires your first, your business name, a logo. That's what's going to be appearing on the invoices you send to your clients, phone numbers and your titles, and as well as uh, numbers of the size of your organization. Next, you're going to be a prompt to enter your customers. So if this is a client you have already have done business with, you can onboard them straight up from your phone. And it's very simple and easy. You go to the customer, hit the add button, and this will prompt you to enter the information. It basically helps you speed up the process. If you have their phone numbers and emails and files, every time you write a quote or an invoice, the system will automatically give you an option to just to send it to their phone number as well as their email. Next, you want to have a billing address where all the information is go sent to if they want to go prefer uh, paper documentations. To add contact from your phone, it's very straightforward. You could just go ahead and choose a person from your phone book. And whatever information you have, will pull it up, including a phone number, add in an email. It's very simple. Now, let's say we have customers already added. In this case, we'll pick John Doe. And John Doe give you a call and he wants you to come in and give him a quote. This system would allow you to write a quote in the real time. Like as you're doing a walkthrough before that customers get back to their car or like within a couple minutes, they will already receive a quote from you. So let's go ahead and write E quotations. Once you're going to hit the quotes, next hit the plus sign. Up here, we get to pick a property. The ad, and that means the address where that service is taking place at. Now, as you add these properties for a specific customers, you're going to be building a list of all the areas and addresses of properties you work with. Think of this guy as a fixer flipper, a professional developers, a real estate investors, a property management. You get the idea. And if this is for a brand new locations, it's super simple. All you have to do is hit the add plus signs and type in whatever address you have in your located at. In my case, Cumberland, and it pulls it up. Google pulls up the address and voila. Now this address is saved for that particular customers. Let's go ahead and choose this location. Uh, this is just for internal information for yourself. Like describe this project. What is it that needs to be done? In this example, I'm gonna go ahead and say we have some roof repair for chimney or whatever that might be. And then you can add much details as you can because this also would be compiled and sent to your customers when you send them that quotation. So next, it's gonna, if you have photos, you can take pictures of the job site. That way it's also being attached and then you get to have those for you as well as for your team to come back to and review at any given time. In my case, I'm gonna go ahead and just take a picture. If you rather take photos as you walk with your customers and then wait till you get back to your cars and upload them and then immediately within a couple of minutes you send them the quotes, you can do that as well. Add in item lines. So think of item lines as the product and services that you're currently offering. In my case, I have been adding these services as, I, as I've been using them and as I've been getting work for. Um, it makes it a lot easier for me just to hit a click button and I can add this to it. Notice how some of them here have non-taxable and the rest are probably taxable. And reason being is there might be some services that you offer that you don't, when you send that invoice and quotes, it doesn't really add any taxes to it. Think of it like your hourly rates or whatever that might be. Um, and you have the options to choose and do that. I'm gonna show you here in a minute. So if you wanna add a new service and new product, we can hit the add button. Up here, you could just put whatever title of that particular service or product you have. You can choose between service and product as you wish. For product, what it does, it also gives you a quantity. So it tracks the inventory. Every single time you add that to a quotation, that quotation become a job. It goes to the inventory and it deducted from. So if you have a hundred copper pipes of eight foot long, and then you put that in there, your system will tell you how many copper pipes have you used and how many you probably have remained. You can also add in a unit price for that. And this is where you could choose that's entirely up to you. If you want this product to be subject to adding that state taxes to it when you create the quotation or not. So let's go ahead and pick this roof chimney here. I pre-did it before for 500 bucks. Again, makes it a lot easier to just to click from my shopping list and then add them to my quotes. 
but everything you did you can always go back and change it so in this case i want to go ahead and change this unit to one thousand dollars the quantity is one let's go ahead and add some more stuff uh my uh, manual labors my guess is this will take me about 10 hours so at 115 bucks a rate or i can go back and give this customer a discount just say it's a hundred dollar that puts me at a thousand now i have a total subtotal of two thousand dollars no taxes has been added to this yet you have an option here where you can give a discount and the discount goes by either you want to give a percentage of the quote off or you want to give a flat rate to the customers off and all you have to do is just hit this drop down if you don't want to give a discount you can go ahead and close that out your state taxes if you add taxes to your quotations all you have to do here is just put what that percentage rate is in my case it's 10 percent and now my total is two thousand one hundred dollars and the hundred dollar came from the roofing chimney of a thousand since my hourly labors when i preset that in i said don't, don't add taxes to this this is already included next you can add if there was any direct deposit you received from your clients whether they give you a check on the spot or give you credit card or cash you can put that in so that information also be saved and last but not least and this is usually like a, a client message if they have any any specific instructions or details they want to give you that from that interactions or perhaps sometimes it could be just like the gate code just to access the building whatever that might be you can add those notes message from the clients here perfect now that's how easy it is and simple to write e quotes now let me show you how to send the quote to your clients or how to get them to approve it if they still at the job site with you i'll go ahead and click on the quotations now i can send this over to them by hitting the send a review and send and basically what's going to happen is just going to send them a quotations of a pdf but if they're still physically available there i can go ahead and get them to prove it go through it they see all the details which the details is this is the images we enter all the details of the clients all the messages all the quotes as well as their contact information and email so if i want to give them a call i could just hit this call button and boom their phone prompt right for me and then what i want to show you here in this note we currently have nothing but watch what's going to happen if i hit this three dots and their clients is still with me and they're okay they're ready to go i can get them to sign this quotations let me show you i'm going to do demo and then just to show so this is their signature what's going to happen i'm going to hit back and come back to notes i found now we have a documentation that automatically was created and take a look at it and this document is basically your branding in business your contact information as well as your clients and the quotation you just made for them including their finger signature how cool is that now, if I go back to here and I go back to the quotes again, 1829. Now, if I hit the review and send, again, all of the information you enter is here. Keep in mind, you can always go back and hit the edit button and change it. Add some more item lines to it or any details to it. It's very easy, very flexible system. I'm going to go ahead and hit the send button. And over here, if you, the first step when you enter your customers and you input an email address for them and a phone number, automatically the system will pull that email address right up here. This quote will be sent to them. And of course, here you get to see your own email address where you also receive a copy of the same email as well. You have your business name here in the headline, so they know it's coming from you for you. Uh, and you also have a pre drafted template email that shows the total as well as if you scroll down here. We have e the quotations, 1829. This one up here is the no signature, so there is no signature on it. This one here is the copy of this, but include the signature of the customer. So remember, if they didn't sign before, you get to send them the email with just this one. If you have a copy signed, then you can add this. And remember, this email here, you can come up here and just type whatever you want to your, to your desire. And last but not least, if you have your legal contract that you normally send with your quotations you can include that as well and now you have that email that's going to send them the quotations as well as your legal contract ready to go perfect let's go and then hit the send button and what the all better is going to do is they're also going to send them a text message with a link to access that quotations from their phone excellent now let's go ahead and say 
the client has approved, we're ready to take this quote and start the work. Again, all you have to do is you can go back to the same quotations, 1829, hit the three dots button here, and let's convert this into a job. Now we're taking just a hypothetical potential client, so now it is going to be a paid customer. Again, all you have to do here is just this is internal details for you as well as any team members that might be working on the project. In this case, we'll do roof repair. You get to choose when this, so it depends on the clients and your availability. You get to choose when do you want this to be scheduled. You can choose to start at what time is convenient for both of you. And then here you have an option to choose how frequent do you want the same service to be happening. This is usually has to do with people that are do regular, let's say cleaning or landscaping. You get just to do this and choose how often this task should be put in your schedule so it's done for you and then it's gonna go for as long as that period of time. Automatically open your calendar for specific days, you're gonna see there's that job in there on and on. And the coolest things about this entire system is the team collaborations. Now, this one up here is going to be the primary account holder and everybody underneath will be the actual employees that are working in this project. So I can assign this to me and a couple of my staff. The same item lines are there, but if I need to add some item lines to it, like some extra work that needs to be performed that the client is requesting, you can do that as well here. Otherwise, we'll hit the done button. Now we have, we're in actual the job information. Notice here when I go to notes, this is the actual PDF that we have. But as that project working, multiple people are working on it. Let's say one of your staff is at job site and they experience some issue. They're going to have to call you, probably text your photos and that stuff gets all messy. Instead, they can go to the note for that particular job, hit the plus sign, say found. They can type whatever the issue they found. And what they can have to do at this point is they can go and they find, well, I found this item here. And let's say we'll just take a picture of my mouse. As you can see here, this is going to be linked to the quotes, the job and the invoice that is related to that particular task. And anybody, and I mean all the team members that are working on this project, only the team members that are working on the project can go and actually see this picture in real time. As one of the people posted into the note section, everybody will be able to see it. Again, all of your item items. If you haven't got a signature, you can always go back and hit the collect signature so you can get it. Now let's go ahead and click on the visit. So the visit is when you schedule that service to take a place. I'll hit the start. And what this is gonna do is gonna open up all these items, all of the selected people working on the project, the job details, the clients, who it is. So if I have a questions, I can always ask them. And then you have a GPS button here that gives me to the address where I need to go. Now, if I come up here and hit the start timer, okay, this gives you a little pop up. This visit was scheduled for 5.27 PM. Okay, I wanna go ahead and start it now. Now what can happen is the system will track the time you spend on this particular job. And you can always go back and stop it and restart it again and it will pick up from where we left off until you complete that work. So this gives you an insight of how many hours have your employee worked on that particular, you know, roof project. Is it five hours, 12 hours, 36 hours? All they have to do is just start and stop and then the system will track it. All the info is in front of them. Now, if that is completed and it's done, I'm going to go ahead and hit mark complete. We did this list in a minute, so we're going to complete this job. But then completing the job will co complete all the remaining visits. Fine, no problem. Let's complete this. Now I get to prompt to create an invoice or I can always invoice the customer later. Let's go ahead and create an invoice. Again, the invoice, you could choose net term payment here. It's up to you, 15, 30 days or 45 days. These are the items that were in there. And remember, just because you, you can always go back here and change the pricing if you want to update it, uh, add some extra stuff that you experienced during the process. As long as this is, this is your business, how you run it. We're not going to tell you how to run your business and done. Now, if I go back to that one step backward, I can see here billing. If I go to the billing, I'll see the invoice that we have currently here that has not been paid of $1,100. I also want to show you where you can find that invoice. 
all the way by simply clicking on that particular customer. And then here it's going to show you that they have an unpaid balance of 2,705. I go to billing and I see there's two quotation, two, two invoices that haven't get paid. This is the one we just completed to uh, $2,100. It's easy for you to just come up here. And then now you have multiple options of collecting deposit. One, you have the cash. You can put that, put a note, collect deposit, boom, it's gonna score, it's paid. And then you also have a checks, credit card, money order, or any other form of payments. There's a credit card system here we have, we integrate it with Stripe. There's a video show you how to create an account with Stripe, very simple, very easy. So now all that money gets processed from a credit card will go directly to your business bank account. In this case, let's go ahead and say cash. And I'm gonna collect deposit. Now this invoice changed to paid. And if I go back to the previous screen, the unpaid balance dropped now to 605 from $2,705 from before. Also, you can find all of your unpaid invoices by going to the main screen, hit the button here, look for invoices, and choose from the drop down which invoices you want to see. These are all of your unpaid invoices, so you can go ahead and contact your clients and get paid for those items. Very simple, very easy to use. The other things here at the bottom is, this is the schedule, the visit time. Remember the job that I show you where we go start, end, start, pause, finish? It tracks the time here, but because we did the job in less than one minute, it's gonna show zero hours and zero minutes. But here it will show you how many hours actually you've had spent on that particular job and how many minutes have you spent. Let me see if I have an example somewhere. Well, like this one here, I've had this job for 17 hours and 55 minutes. And if I go to this one at the bottom here, the schedule, this gives you a scope of view of schedule of all of your employees. You can see all the names of your staff and you get to see who's got anything scheduled. If you choose different days and you know your schedule is vacant or empty, but you can track and you can also filter jobs just for, for that particular day or any future days for one particular employee by simply clicking on that particular employee and it will show you what they have scheduled for visit. I hope you enjoyed this video. This app will save you time, will save you money and save it all. And you can save all of this headache by using the All Better. Check them out today at allbetterapp.com forward slash provider.